Hi, Maria Gracia here, owner of GetOrganizedNow.com. A lot of people tell me that they can't get organized because it's just too expensive. They can't afford to go out and buy the containers that they need. But I'm here today to tell you that you do not have to go out and spend money on containers. You probably have what you need just laying around your house. And sometimes it just takes a little bit of creative thinking to come up with those solutions. I am going to share four ideas with you today that I think you're going to like. I hope you like them. The first is um, things that are laying around from the holidays. Now, if you have children, maybe even if you don't have children, you probably have some Easter baskets laying around. Now, I'm going to show you this one that I have. It's a nice, nice dirty Easter basket. My daughter probably got this, I don't know, three or four years ago. And yes, yeah, she does use it for Easter, but Easter only comes once a year. So we may as well use the basket the rest of the year. And what we're using this basket right now for is for magazines. And these are just some current magazines. We put this basket right by our living room sofa. And, you know, if we want to pick up a catalog or a magazine, we just reach inside the basket and get it. And then when the magazines are old, we just recycle them and we put, you know, the newer ones in here. So it's a great use for something that's usually only used once a year. Make your holiday things when you can year-round items. And then, of course, when Easter rolls around, you can take the magazines out and your child can use them for eggs or candy or whatnot, you know, for that day. Okay. Yesterday, I went to the supermarket and I bought one of those um, nice salads to go from the salad bar. And they came in this nice, I guess what I would call it is um, like a clamshell. And it's a very sturdy container. So rather than going out and buying, um, you know, Gladware or Tupperware or any kind of expensive container for your stuff, these containers that you're probably going to just ditch in your recycle bin anyway can be used for storage. And to give you a couple of ideas of what um, I've done with these, first, we had a puzzle and the bottom of the box got really destroyed. And you know, can't really use this box now for puzzle pieces. So you can actually use one of those clamshells. You can put all the puzzle pieces inside. They're nice and contained. I haven't had a chance to do this yet, but I was planning on cutting the, um, the picture of the puzzle and just putting it inside the box, or you can even tape it on top of the box. Another clamshell that I had I use for storing rubber stamps. So as you can see, it's a wonderful storage tool and it didn't cost an extra penny. You know, it just came from the store. I was going to throw it away. So it's great for storage. And you know, you can label the tops of these and the sides of these if you wish. You can decorate them with stickers if you wish. They are wonderful, inexpensive containers. And guess what? If this breaks, no big deal. It can just be recycled. But whenever I go to the store and I get a salad from the salad bar, I do keep these clamshells because they are wonderful, wonderful containers. They're also um, good if you need to give um, any kind of a, you know, a guest that comes over, if you want to put leftovers, they have kind of a to-go container um, to take and uh, go home with. Now, a friend of mine, the last time um, she came, you know, a few years ago, she gave me this really cool candle holder. And I've discovered that, um, you know, and I do use the candle holder as a candle holder a lot of the year. It has pink in it. So, um, you know, I kind of use it for springtime and whatnot. But I want to make use of this in the fall too. And you can easily do that. I discovered that just by kind of turning this upside down, this centerpiece comes out where the candle is. And now I have a variety of things that I can put inside. So it doesn't only have to be a candle holder. It can be a holder for many things. For example, today I've decided to put like some um, of my hair accessories in here. So I put um, my hairbrush, my comb, um, some hair styling stuff, and you know, any, any kind of hair stuff. And now I can just put this nice container on um, my bathroom counter and all of my hair accessories are right there when I need them. So multi-purpose, it doesn't have to just be a decorative item. See what is decorative that you can use for something um, functional. Finally, this is a plain old tissue box and when your tissue boxes are empty you can use them as storage containers. Um, you can cut the 
top part off and now you have just a nice um, box that you can put uh, office supplies in or or child's toys or whatnot. What I've done with this one is, you know, I always save the plastic bags that I get from my grocery store because there's always a day, you know, when it's raining out and I want to put something uh, inside a plastic bag so it doesn't get wet. They're also good to put in your um, tote bags when you go out to the pool. Um, this way you have um, plastic bags to put your, uh, your bathing suits in and whatnot. Uh, so they don't get the rest of your bag wet. So I keep those plastic bags and I like to have a place to store them. And these tissue boxes are great for storing plastic bags. And you could store like a hundred of these things in this tiny little tissue box. So it's, it's a great storage tool. Um, as soon as you empty it out from, uh, with the tissues, you can use it for something else. Now I hope that this video today has given you some ideas on how you can be creative. Walk around your house, look and see what you have. Do you have an ice cube tray? It can be used to hold um, jewelry, to separate jewelry. Do you have a muffin tin? It can be used to store office supplies. Um, there are so many things that you can do just with stuff you have laying around the house. I'm Maria Gracia, owner of GetOrganizedNow.com. If you like this video, please click the like link. I would very much appreciate it. And if you have a comment about some common household item that you've transformed into an organizing storage unit, um, please just comment in the comments box. We would love to hear from you. And remember, there is no better time to get organized than to get organized now.